Hi, welcome to this setup. What is this? This is VirtualBox. We've um, downloaded Article Linux 18.12 mid December. We've installed on VirtualBox and it asks us here down here, you see this red icon, please update the system. So the topic of the video is going to be how to stay rolling. Article Linux finds it important that you, once you install a system, that you just keep updating everything so that everything stays um, up to date, but also that the configurations are up to date. We are going to make this a very educational video, so it's going to be longer because it's, because it's going to be sometimes in depth. We also will touch one or more items that are new, that, so that will be implemented in January 2019 release over a few days because this is the date and on the 19th the ISO will be uh, released. So this is the video how to keep rolling once you have uh, installed December version. Okay, we have at Arco Linux a lot of aliases. So what you need to know is the word alias. Type it, make it bigger and read all these aliases. Some of them are quite difficult and that's why we make them simpler. Like the update, which I'm going to use earlier on, or for, uh, in a few seconds now, that's this command. And this command is important because when you go to phase five in Arch Linux, then you don't have, of course, the alias command. It does not exist. It is an alias literally for this command. But there's something more. Before I update, since I want it to be very educational, I'm going to do a backup scale as well. There are uh, commands that are important. Update is one, backup scale is one, and scale is one. So down here. And then the last one is PKSYU, which is this guy. We're going to use all these aliases now. Now the first thing is that I'm going to use the backup scale. Why? Arc Linux is updating and putting all the new configurations of any of the applications we have in etc scale. Because that's just how um, ISOs are built up. Anything you put in there, the user will get. So we want you to get the aliases, we want you to get the configuration of Nomax, etc, etc, etc. So it's all in there, the tweaking, the, the how XFC looks, the way it looks now is not normal. I mean, if you do an Arch Linux installation, phase five, and you install XFC, it totally looks different. So let's make an educational video. Let's first start with backup scalp. But before we maybe we are going to press enter, let's open Thunar, control H, Y control H to see the hidden stuff and move this guy over here. Once you run the backup scale, which is an alias up here, it's gonna copy paste everything from etc scale to a hidden file, that's why at this point here, in your home directory, that's the home directory, that's the hidden file or folder you can make or create, and it's gonna call, be called scale backup and the date of today and the hour of today. So if you do a backup scale, something happens in here. Your complete copy paste from etc scale, let's go there, click on it, move it to your bookmarks, not to trash of course, but just below. This is what is in at this point in time, and this point in time is mid-December. This is the scale of mid-December, okay? And then we're gonna update. So if you go back up here, and you ask the content of this guy, this is the exact copy of what's in here, etc scale. Okay, so that's one thing. Before you update, do a backup scale, why? Because later, after the update, we do another backup scale, we compare and you exactly see what changed. In the scale, not anywhere else, in user, icons, themes, etc. Not those folders, but this one for sure, okay. Updating, it's a month ago this ISO, means that Arch Linux, not only Arch Linux, has a lot 
to uh, download. So this is the download size, this is the installed size, and as a result, we'll have less megabytes. But it's not just Arch Linux, <coughs> it ends here. It's also Arch Linux work. So things change, and some of these packages have their influence in the ETC scale, and others we'll never see, like this one, Arch Linux Plank Themes is not in ETC scale, it's in user share themes. So some of them have an effect on ETC scale, others don't, basically. So if you type an update command, an alias, then you'll get the Arch Linux updates and the Arch Linux updates. Fine. Yes, go ahead. What you need to take um, to, to have to, to look out for is this guy, Linux, the name Linux or Linux dash LTS, which is long term support. Those guys are important. That's the corner, the kernel.org. Surf to the website. That's the core of your Linux system that drives your system. That's one thing. If you see this in your downloads, you need to reboot. That's the best advice I can give so that the new kernel takes its effect. The update 4.20 came at 31 December, so the last day of December. They just released Linux version here 4.20 and also the system D. In the meantime, we're a bit, uh, well, 15th January and there is a new Linux kernel and there is a new system D. That's another thing you should take, um, well, should look, uh, look out for system D 240 34 three already. Okay, so they keep updating. That's two things to keep in mind. If you see that in your list of downloads, you don't need to remember everything and learn everything. But those two guys are well, important. Now, we are downloading or installing, we don't know yet. But if you scroll down, it might take a very long time to scroll down. The tip is press the space bar. And you're at the bottom. Very good that we are here. Some of the packages of Arco Linux will give you a uh, line here. Whoa, that's not what I meant to do. You get this line that says the files have been installed in etc scale. The files have been installed in etc scale config neofetch, etc. etc. All of these messages mean that data has been changed here in the etc scale, but here it has no effect unless you make an ISO, then it has an effect. But once you've installed it, you update in this folder, but it will never ever have its effect unless you copy paste all these guys over to your home directory. You, but we grew tired of control A, control C, and go to home and control V. We grew a little bit tired, so what you do then is you make an alias and there's an alias for that to copy paste everything over from this place to your home directory because for instance we have a new conkey and the new conkey is going to be in here here's going to be the conkey the conkey is called stargate and stargate looks awesome but if you don't um, don't copy paste it over you'll never have that conkey simple as that so yes we need to copy paste it over but there is a command for it but let's first wait. So the update is done. Checking again. Done, right? Now, like I said, this is the update before. So a copy paste of the before from the scale. So if you do a backup scale now, you get a copy of the scale folder, but now after, right? So before update after update. But before I'm going to go in detail in that and in, in, uh, to compare that is thinking about the kernel again. So, oh yeah, we need to reboot because new kernel, new system D, let's have a look. Restart. Now we had some, uh, well, it happened for many people, also for me, that when you log out for the first time after these new changes, new updates, we get this line, right? 
The stop job is running for user manager for user ID 1000, which is us, we, right? The user that is um, the first user that you create on this Linux system is always number 1000. The thing is, um, since this update of, of um, system D, probably, 100% probably, it's going to wait for this countdown. Um, I, I did do a hard shutdown. Of course, you break your consistency and your hard drive, so you get these messages for notes and all that. But basically, uh, I just keep waiting for this thing to end because it will end at exactly two minutes and you'll never see it again. So let's pause for uh, a moment. All right, the countdown has um, finished and I'm rebooting now not into my ISO but into my hard disk so the grub appears and we get a new system D and this guy can go by doing this all right we don't want to see this anymore don't show this message again and the wallpaper let's change it with a alt n alt n alt n alt n and the flower is not coming from me uh, what about this one this is not coming from me either. This is all variety and variety has a link to desktopper.co and the Trzura GBG is now coming from desktopper and has nothing to do with um, Arch Linux at all. It's coming from there. And if you don't want to have a changing wallpaper, you can change it in the preferences to say, don't start it or change it every 60 minutes or don't use these folders or etc etc so all the settings are in here and um, let's let's freeze this guy we can do that as well let's say we like this thing then you can copy to favorites or you can say to pulse on current so we keep this guy for the time being all possibilities what kernel are we on we are on kernel 4.20-1 system d is updated everything is okay and we are back to the next phase in the sense that we have a backup scale two scales here and we want to know what changed so this is the left is december and the right is january release so what did change double so select them both and then go to compare right mouse click and then we can get rid of this. We don't need it anymore. Double click it. And then this is melt, by the way. You can change a lot of things here in melt and they have preferences and all that. But basically, you don't want to see what's the same since December. So again, the left is December, the right is January. What changed and compare it. So in this case, use all cores we saw that there were some spaces, okay? So we got rid of the spaces, fine. Then there is a new script that we've um, added, the script to install Samba. Samba is no longer installed on the ISO, but you just run 140 and or 150 to, to see the computers in your network and it's done. It just takes a minute time. If you need it, it's there. We've made an update for the fun apps for screenshots. I believe that should be uh, is four boxes. So we have here version one and we have here version four already. We have a fix for the Intel microcode, which is also here and here, but we just renamed it, gave it another number, and it's coming from uh, Arch Linux D. So we have three projects Arch Linux, Arch Linux D, and Arch Linux B. So if you are acquainted with Arch Linux D project, you'll recognize it and everything is coming. Uh, makes sense right it's the same number and the same description we have so so this is renaming renaming and um, this is I don't know what this was again delete all Samba related things is in here has moved to the stay rolling you see and delete all TLP related services if you want to Remove it again if you want to install Samba here, if you delete it here. And this is just for one, one um, ISO change in particular, stay rolling 18 to 1812. And then you get this uh, extra 
lines. Then we have a color test. We have another script. We are in dot bin. So the fun stuff, there is fun stuff in here, but also very serious stuff like getting the Linux LTS kernel or removing it again. But there's also some fun tests, uh, color tests or fun scripts, color test slim and sysinfo here as well. Some more information that awesome font will not be displayed in, in URXVT. So people do not ask again. So they say they know already it's not going to work there. Stargate is this new conky I just showed you. So there's a new folder, complete folder, and of course a new example, new picture here. The font is now installed in Arco Linux fonts, so we don't need a link to Pokey TTF, that's okay. And in Vision we've changed, and this is a conky, we've changed the fonts, so Poiret 1 and Droid Sans Mono. At this point in time all fonts are now, that the fonts that we use are now um, documented with a copyright. AOR Acros, lots of things that changed, not, that's not got go in too much detail but these guys are all conkeys and in some way we have changed them in this case the width has changed and so on all right also the font here that has changed i3 config we did something in i3 config a control alt p launch the spamac manager and this is super escape which is going to kill this is important enough to show you guys super escape is this little skull and whatever is hanging or not working not functioning anymore which can happen then you click on the item you want to kill and it's gone so plank has been killed due to that uh, little contrast control escape thing it's called x kill it says here and other things down here are blue so some spaces so we've made some tabs here, some more structure, and so on. NeoFetch has been changed. We can now easily change from the ASCII code, which is this one, to the logo again. Just need to change the name, and then we're up and running with the logo, and that's all on articlelinks.com. Nomex, we just saw Nomex, but Nomex does not look normally this nice. Uh, so we changed it. So these config things, these, these, these black lines up here are coming um, to us. But this is the look now. What we haven't done and what we should do if you want to show uh, people, hey, something changed. Let's click here, termite. These are the commands we've done. Alien, an update, a backup scale, and another backup scale. What we never done is the command scale alias thank you so we've never done a copy paste because that's the thing you need to do after an update you have to say okay i'm gonna get the new stuff from etc scale to my own home home directory and that's what scale does so this command is actually copy pasting everything from etc scale to your home directory in fi now relaunch nomax the settings have been changed as you see this is much nicer all black nice icons and that's why i just reminded myself hey scal has not been uh, did not run yet because the icons were not looking nice so that's very important to remember open box goes here as the the same command if you do ctrl p in xfce or in i3 it should be there also in open box. So this is the open box com shortcut that we've changed or added, but basically it's not um, new. It's new, it's not changed. Now I've made a mistake, which is good and great because super F5, file, open recent, and we're back. It's that fast. We've done the bin, we've done the config. Oops, not the config completely. Conky we've done, i3 we've done, NeoFetch done, Nomax done, Openbox done. So the next thing is here, Polybar. So this is how you could actually go into detail. And that's of course what we, we encourage you is to learn the system, to know where are the details. Because once you go to Arch Linux, 
the archway installation, you'll see you're missing a lot of settings. And all these settings are in here. This is thanks to Cryf on the Discord that we have now a um, well language, the possibility to have a variable for the language. If you want the language in Hungarian or Dutch or English, it's just a variable you need to change. And in Polybar, because that's where we are, Polybar scripts, you can have the weather in your uh, bar up there. The config has been changed as well. And let's go to the big bunch of code. And that's because Xmonad is there. So we have 12 desktops these days. And Xmonad is the newest one. And of course, it needs some um, information to have a polybar. So all this code is extra just for polybar. For Xmonad. And on the launch, um, we've experimented with a new kind of script, new kind of code. And this is it's for the, the guys that have one screen, fine. That's mostly no problem. But surely if you have a dual screen, then it's going to run in here, loop in here, because it, the polybar needs to be on all screens, right? So that's a new kind of code that we are uh, trying out in Xmonad. This is going to need some more attention because Qt5CT is no longer in the ETC scale. That is strange. That is in effect bad. In the sense that we, when we will change these things in the future, you will not get the updates because they're not, they're not updated in your system. We need to install the package later on. Set wallpaper, same goes here, Xmonad. We've added the possibility that variety can change the wallpaper there. And this is our shortcut again for BAMAC, Control Alt P. And then last, almost last, X resources. We have set URXVT to be transparent, so true. Um, so you try it out if you like that um, terminal. We use termite, so Control T launches always termite and this this line that's important to know and uh, the other one is an urxvt another terminal azure c latest is interesting this has been added for guys on cinnamon who were using i think taiwanese or korean or any of these languages and then they need some more uh, information so the only thing you need to do is then hashtag out some of these lines and then uh, everything should be working for them. We don't need them and they're hashtagged out. There's a new cleanup um, script. So packages that are not needed are removed. And this little line, which looks very complex, which is it's not, but it's going to remove the stuff that you don't need really. And then the last thing is the Bash RC personal. Because we do always a scale, a copy paste, you're going to overwrite again, again, your bash RC. So the thought was, and that's also an idea and a suggestion coming from Discord. So please give, give uh, our suggestions of your suggestions to us because they get implemented as you see. Only thing you need to do if you have your own um, aliases is create an article and, and file and call it bash RC personal because this line will actually load it up. All your aliases will be added to the list of the aliases here. Even overwritten if you want to uh, reuse update, for instance, for something else. But that's all again uh, explained in another article at articlelinks.com. So that's our analysis that has changed in, so from left December, to right January. Those are the changes. Okay. The next thing we will do, let's maybe do this one first because before I forget that, what we should check out is these two guys. This is yours from December. This one, let's let me think again mm, yes this one is from December and this one is from January so we check with compare what changed 
So yes, this is new. Do I want it? Yes, no. This is yes. And then scroll down and we have here also new code and we say put it to the left, meaning it's going to go in the bash RC. And we save. So that's a way to do it. So then you know line by line what's going on. Another option is actually since we kind of built got bored of doing all that maybe <laughs> there is an alias for it and there is we have a new alias that's called cb well not new i mean uh, since last time cb copy bash rc latest over to bash rc and load it up again source means load the bash rc so load up these new commands so basically if i remember cp with the b c b right copy bash then everything is loaded up again and one of them was the new one was clean up up here okay so if it works it should now say let's run this thing which i'm not gonna do but it works you see he asked my password already so that's one thing you should do as well Check out the bash or C, bash or C latest, or say whatever, I'm not gonna check out, I know what's in there, and just type CB. Fine. Checked. Are we now up to date? No, we're not. There are other elements from uh, on this system from somewhere else, from the AUR. If we do an update, everything is now up to date and we even thought about our bash rc if we type now pks yua then the rest is going to be updated and what's the rest let's scroll back up these guys are the rest All right in one month's time the maintainers of different packages and there are 14 up there have changed their package build so a package build is a recipe to build things from the net this has nothing to do anymore with Arch Linux per se it comes from Debian it comes from Red Hat it comes from uh, RPM files and Dev files and from zips and tar gz's and githubs and so on and the maintainers a person just like you and me writes a package build puts them on AOR so that everybody can get and grasp the data from everywhere on the net and put it on Arch or Arco Linux, right? The fun stuff, as you see, there are some things you already, you probably recognize, you say, oh yeah, I wanna have that, right? The fun stuff is often coming from here, from AOR. Now, since it's Basically, people creating package builds, sometimes these package builds can break because the source, which is independent from the maintainer, changes. If somebody on there deletes a package and it's pointing to that package, well, the link is broken and it will not be downloaded again. So it's as simple as that. So sometimes we need to intervene and think about things and if we come across that, it's gonna be on the Arc Linux forum, for one. It's gonna be on social media in general. And it's uh, maybe gonna be in arclinux.com fixes. There is this menu on arclinux.com and uh, we explain you how to fix stuff. We want to explain you the analytics of these things because we want you to be self-reliant. If the same kind of mistake happens with another package, you can solve it yourself. And that's the point. There are so many packages out there, but similar problems will occur because the checksum is not correct, because the download URL is wrong, etc., etc. Lots of things can happen and change in the world. And that's, that's life. Life is change. And it will happen to the package builds as well. So we need to be resilient to those changes so that we know how these package builds work and it's all explained in videos. At this point in time we're installing UMOX. There might be errors at this point of making the video. 
there were some errors because this is not my first take there were errors uh, yesterday so i'm redoing this video we'll see what comes up and we'll solve it uh, on the spot so umox was yesterday a problem the package build has been uh, changed by the maintainer and as also my message to you guys don't be in a rush let the package builder uh, the maintainer for the of the package let him update and let him figure out what to do how to do it and wait till the package build is up to date now if it's it's taking like i don't know three four five days a week then maybe you should make an account if you don't have already on the aur of arch Linux, so you can flag it out of date what happens of course very politely please update the package build because it's all free and we do it for the community but we get a mail telling hey this package is out of date because we're not always and maintainers are not always looking at the package in question is it changed uh, can i still build it etc so with this flag it out of um, update you flag it out of well, what's it called again well you see on the web uh, how it's called but we get an, a mail and then we can take action okay papyrus icon theme kit everything seems to be working at this point in time but we'll see if there's an issue nevertheless one of these things i see already in umox you needed to install python pistache which is a new package it's using this omox and uh, it installed fine now well, let's pause the video here although let's continue the video here why what if he's now compressing a package we have shown you that your arch linux arco linux is not working at full speed it's using one kernel only I have a PC of eight kernels. Wouldn't that be really a waste? Now this is a virtual box. It means it has four cores and my guest and host and four, four. It's very easy to tell the system, hey, forget about uh, this one core thing. I want eight cores because when you compress, it's gonna be faster. Your system will just install update faster. What I do is control alt T after every clean install. Remember, to update the number of cores. And it's actually all good uh, hidden away in your bin folder. So if you start typing bin slash main zero zero, that's it, you have it. The only thing you have to do is enter. The script will say, oh, it has four cores, changing the make flags for four cores. Do you agree? I agree. That's it. That's the only thing you should remember after every clean installation to just check out um, to use all the cores. And if you're installing from AUR, then it becomes important. This thing at this point in time is now going all up and all four cores are being used. So that's interesting to have a faster system. Okay, and now I'm gonna pause and wait for the update to finish. All right, this is the message I was waiting for. There is an error with the Numix circle icon theme. And I'm happy to report that um, sometime last week, all the Numix elements from the AOR were orphans. So nobody was taking care of the package builds. And I saw that and I thought, oh, that's nice. Um, can I grab them and become the maintainer of it? And I am. So at this point in time, Numix circle icon theme is now owned by me, Eric Dubois, and uh, I am now the maintainer of this icon theme, which is a great icon theme. I have to make it anyway to have it on our system, so the only thing I need to do is copy paste and put it on the AOR, and everybody can use it then. So, when taking it over, I saw we get this error, and the only thing we need to do, and that's of course documented on the forum, it's also on the AUR, it's remove it. It's an obstruction in the system at this point in time, and at next release it won't be anymore, but 
from moving from well maintainer I suppose to maintainer um, this needs to go so you mix circle and you're out I did of course a without a pseudo so of course this is a protected part of your system and pseudo it is and when you do a reboot or a reinstallation here then um, the reboot reinstallation you'll see that it just moves over because there's a new uh, icon cache and it's uh, overwritten and that's all fine that's how it should be let's do one more try and we're up to date since, since this is still the December release the this package is still uh, on there in the January release it's not anymore so this means orphaned means nobody's going to maintain it there's nobody actually working on this thing so we've deleted it from our package list and that's this guy you can get rid of and also that guy you can uninstall and then um, that's come as well so pks yoa there you go so this is the way to update we're um, completely up to date that's a normal procedure right update scale pks yoa think about the bash cb but there is more and maybe to check that out remember maybe we should not remember let's show you again it's so easy to do click click and that one okay remember the fact that we had this um, qt5 ct we need to fix that right qt5 ct it's not installed use pamac to learn more about systems you have here the repository our clinics repo and you can have a look at let's let's have a look at this one for instance and check out hey what are the files these are the two new files of january and all the rest is here as well zero zero use all course so you know what this package will add to your system and what it's for because of the fact that we've now um, 12 desktops and particularly plasma desktop I want to separate the Qt5 files and uh, Qt5 files for Plasma. So I've moved Qt5 config from a config folder to a particular personal folder for the guy. So we have now a new package. So if you want to update to uh, the January release, you need to install this guy, Arch Linux Qt5 Git. That's the thing that was missing in the new etc scale now so if you install this guy apply commit something has changed and the messages here are here as well details the files have been installed in etc scale okay what has been installed we go to here this is our copy paste remember if we do a backup scale so we have installed something something is installed in its scale copy pasting it now to a new folder we take the new folder and the older folder compare these two guys what do we see oh yeah this was after the update and this is after the installation of qt5 ct we have a folder and we have a file and everything is in here so without this file you won't get our updates you'll stiff still have qt5 ct config that's a little bit tricky maybe trying to explain it anyway so we still have the qt5 ct and it's available because it was coming from the iso but since the qt5 ct conf is no longer in the configuration file it's never going to get updated unless you install the new package basically bottom line you got to install at linux qt5 right that's the point i'm trying to make you need to have it at linux repo that's one so this is one thing you need to have qt5 and to here we have an 
other package for Plasma. So if I want to have another look and change and, and content, I can. I have another package for the Plasma and I could make one for BSBWM, etc. etc. If we need to have it, we'll use it or create it. Okay, that's one thing we need to have. The other thing is that in the beginning of January we had this release of VirtualBox 6.0 and it was quite ugly. If you want to see it, it's all documented and maybe it's not a bad thing. It's not a video about the new stuff, I know, but um, let's go there anyway. Because at some point in time it looked like this. This was our virtual box. I mean, I can't read this. So simple, as simple as that. So we needed to figure out something to uh, make virtual box readable again, let alone usable. Yeah. So we found that solution in Quantum. Okay, Quantum. And Quantum is an application you need to install as well. So sudo pacman minus s Quantum. Qt5 and Quantum Theme Arc. There are lots of themes, well, lots. There are three themes, and we only install the Arc theme since we have this Arc look all over our system, then we have consistency. These two guys need to be installed. Okay, the application Quantum is now installed, but not the settings of Quantum. And we've taken, uh, we've thought about that as well, and that is in here as well. So another new package. This is the setting for Plasma, which is at this point not used. Quantum is not nice at this point in time uh, on Plasma. We'll figure it out or we'll see how it evolves in the in the future. But we do need it for Arch Linux. So Arch Linux Quantum Git. Get that as well. The only thing it provides, which is important of course, is a configuration file. It provides a file here in the etc scale, quantum, quantum config. Okay, this means I have to do another scale. It's hidden away in the scale, meaning I need to copy and paste it from etc scale to my own. What's more, I want to know what happened now. Backup scale. That's something else. <laughs> Backup scale. So I have a new folder, right? I have lots of these folders in my system just to check if everything works. The updates are okay. Compare. What happens between one and two? Oh, we got an extra folder called Quantum, and inside says Arc Dark, use the theme Arc Dark for simple screen recorder. A virtual box was unreadable, is not unreadable anymore. It's going to use the default quantum theme. And we'll probably change it in the future. We will still have to, to figure out quantum for sure because it's very um, technical and detailed and seems to be uh, having lots of uh, options. So, but anyway, for now it, it works. It uh, makes us, uh, makes virtual box look readable again. And, um, that's good. We can test it. VirtualBox is not installed here, but we can test simple screen recorder, which is going to use a nice arc look. So in essence, nothing has changed for us because of the setting of, of quantum, which is okay. So we are up to date at this point in time. We are uh, super up to date and um, I guess it's time to do one last thing. Let's tell the system, dear system, I have updated you and the release information you have is not accurate anymore. This is now version 19.1.4. Save it, test it. And this is how you stay rolling. It's a long educational one, I know. You know, the simpler thing was just to update, then to scale, then a CB and a PKSYUA, and you're done. <laughs> All right, enjoy.